The establishment of the National Emergency Medical Service, MEMS, seems to be a cause under the Ministry of Health and Sanitation due to an ineffective administration managing the country's ambulance operation project. The World Bank funded project grant of 13 million US dollar aimed to release a fully staff, equipped and functional pre-hospital ambulance service providing citizens of Sierra Leone with prompt, safe and effective access to health care in terms of urgent needs and embedding the countries to leverage existing health care infrastructure and local expertise to maximum advantage. Medisico, I Africa, Kuma and Krim Demain were involved in major projects to create the first national pre-hospital emergency medical system in Sierra Leone. The project has been developed with the support of the Ministry of Health in partnership with Rigoni Vermeto and Queen Midri and financially supported by the World Bank. Over 900 million euros provided by Kruma to the project have not been accounted for by those currently managing it, which caused the Anti-Corruption Commission to open up its investigations. Sources state that the lack of transparency and accountability by MEMS officials caused the two organizations Kruma and Krimidi to cast doubt on the local team managing the ambulance operations. Investigations conducted by press state that the government of Sierra Leone has been providing 2.4 billion leons as its financial commitment to the project on a monthly basis. These monies, according to reports, have not yielded they require dividend as over 150 ambulances out of 200 ambulances under the project have been granted. Sources says a pregnant woman had to deliver in a taxi last month at the Bibore Road, Kisi, due to ineffective ambulance operations. It could be recalled that on the 15th of October 2018, MEMS started a national network of ambulances coordinating to provide free of charge aid and emergency medical assistance in pre-hospital setting involving personnel trained in rescue, stabilizations, and transport of traumatic and medical emergencies. The MEM service, initially operationalized in Kailan District, has progressively expanded throughout all 16 districts, becoming operative at national level on the 27th of May, 2019. The country's past challenges impacted negatively on the infrastructure, limiting the capability to respond to crises and health emergencies and resulting in Komato's a first response infrastructure. When contacted for clarification, the head of operations at MEMS, Abubakar Jalo, said he cannot make any official comment and referred journalists to the ministry's communication department, which has also failed to give an official response. All efforts made so far to get the side of the ministry and MEMS officials have proven fruitful. For Star TV News in Freetown, George Elliott Sam reporting.